Yesterday I did Osage Orange and didn't even know what I had until I got it all done and could actually see the green. And it took a little bit on the internet to figure out what it was, but it was what it was, so it's Osage Orange. This one is actually marked. This is Chinese Elm. And I have a 12 and a half inch circle here and I'm gonna see what we can get out of it. But this is again, thank you to uh, Ray who uh, gave me these to play with. And what we're doing is we're making bowls for the uh, Hamburg Fair, uh, Erie County, which is New York, uh, Hamburg Fair. And these will be sold in uh, at the wood turning uh, counter. Uh, hopefully they're sold, but a little bit more about this wood. It is been sitting around. I think there's a date on one of them, but over 10 years, these are going to be very, very hard. This is what bowl reveal our channel is about is finding pieces of wood like this. I'm trying to find woods that are new and exciting and just fun to play with. Um, so this is a Chinese elm, never touched it before. So we're gonna see what it does. I'm sure you're gonna need some very sharp tools to cut this, but just plain fun. And this is what this is about. I have a double prong um, drive on here. And that I actually got from uh, Wood Turning Wonders, I do believe that it's called. And uh, it has worked very well. We'll see how it goes on this. This is very hard. My, my, my. Now all I did was I got the same tool, but all I did was slow down my cut. And it just took all that tear out. Ah, oh, that is gorgeous stuff. That's fun. Really excited about getting this finish on that and see what the grain pops. All right, I'm gonna fix up my tenon. What I'm hoping to do is actually put my bowl saver on this and get another bowl out of the inside of it. The total depth of this is, uh, four and three quarters, the other one's five. So I should get a nice bowl out of the inside of this. I'm gonna clean this all up and sand it and then flip it around. Oh, that was in the tight. That is the two-prong drive chuck, drive center. Now I've never used my uh, center saver on a dry piece of wood. I always use my center saver on wet wood and then I put it away for uh, to dry. So this ought to be interesting. See what we can do with that. The, the problem isn't so much the width as it is the depth because each time you cut you're going to have to have a piece left over that's a half plus the width of this so about an inch you're going to lose. So I'm going to lose an inch on the first one, an inch on the second one, and an inch on the third one. I might be able to get another bowl out of this. I'm not sure but we'll see here in a second. It's an easy. That's a surprise. That's cutting extremely nice. So we'll see how she goes. I clean this up, clear that out. And basically, that is pretty darn nice right there. Three and seven sixteenths. Three and holy moly, nine sixteenths. It's only an eighth inch thick on the bottom. <laughs> I think we better stop. Pretty bowl.
I got a three bowl set. This little candy dish for key, key bowl. Cute little size here. And this I call a popcorn bowl. But the inside of these bowls are absolutely gorgeous with grain. So is the back side. I love it. It's got so much going on. Just beautiful. I don't know. Hopefully you got a good picture of that. Little one. Little one's got a little crack here. I'm hoping that when I put the uh, finish on, it's going to blend in. But three bowls set. And this is called Chinese Elm.